Hello, this is the topic for today's video, ISI versus IIT. I have studied in both the institutions and I would like to share my experience of studying in both the institutions. So let's start the video. If you are new here, I like to make content on maths, statistics, economics, finance, data science and everything amongst these. So if you are interested in that kind of a content, do subscribe to the channel right now. And let's get to your video. So when I was in IIT, I was literally a kid. When I entered IIT, I was not even 20 years old. And with due course of time, I went on to become an adult. So that was quite a transformational phase of my life. And truth be told, it did not have that much impact in my personal life. But I still feel that that was really different than my ISI days. Because when I entered ISI, I was already married and I was good 4-5 years older than a lot of people. One key difference between ISI and IIT is that in IIT you can afford to study at the last few days before the exam but in ISI you really cannot. If you do not study regularly then you would definitely fail. In IIT you can study with the help of notes, with the help of uh, Xerox of your batchmates, but the idea in ISI is you need to remember a lot of things. Unlike your perception about ISI, ISI is meant for people who are into research. And in research, it is not always about solving puzzles. It is about representing your ideas in a form which is understood by the people in academia so it has its own language which you need to master so that's the difference between IASI and IIT now fun fact in ISI all branches are quite different than IIT the difference here is that in ISI there's a theme of statistics and in IIT, there's a theme of engineering. But having said that, in ISI, you have branches like economics, you have branches like computer science, but those branches are quite different in respect to the crowd which are attracted to those courses. But in IIT, everybody gives JE and they qualify that exam and then they choose a branch according to the counseling. But in ISI, you first choose your course and then appear for that relevant exam. So it makes quite a heterogeneous mix in ISI. Plus the small batch in ISI gives it a very different kind of a feel. A good thing which I remember out of my ISI days is the price of food. The canteen, the official canteen of ISI is so cheap that you won't realize that you live in 2020 or 1930. In ISI canteen, we still get two rotis for one rupee. And for two, three rupees, you can get a plate of sabzi. So your lunch can be taken care of in less than 10 rupees. And if you go to a different canteen, a subsidized private canteen, the same affair can be taken care of in 30, 40 rupees or 50 rupees at max. So in ISI, the canteen price is quite attractive. And again, another thing which you already might know that in ISI, you do not pay for studying, you get paid to study. So in ISI, you truly learn while you earn or rather I should say earn while you learn. So that's the difference which I feel is very very striking plus in ISI the way students are taught different subjects is quite 
quite rigorous in nature. So having said all of these things, this is not the entirety of difference between ISI and IA. There, there are lots of differences. So this was just an introduction to this concept that ISI and IIT though are quite premier institutions in the country, we still have a lot of differences between them. So I made this video to gauge the interest in this topic. So if you want to know more about the differences between ISI and IIT and other things related to ISI, do comment below. And obviously I do make videos on entrance preparations of MSQE for ISI, JE for IIT and for other entrances like CAT, so on and so forth. But if you want to know more about the life at ISI, life at IIT, then do let me know. I'll make such videos in future. And before you go, why don't you hit the like and do subscribe to the channel to know more about ISI, Maths, IIT, J, CAT, Data Science, Economics, Finance and what have you. Bye-bye.